yeah, yeah, good. Just uh, say subscribe to Josh Bridgman Fitness out loud. Huh? Say subscribe to Josh Bridgman Fitness. I have to subscribe to Josh Bridgman Fitness. <laughs> nice one. Guys, today is a special day. <laughs> Tom, today, Tom, it's the most fun before transit. <laughs> wow, that must be really heavy. Is that filming? Yeah. This is gonna be my two alternative back exercises. First up, seal rows with dumbbells. Fun. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Right, the first exercise of my alternate back exercises. It's gonna be a seal row with dumbbells. For those of you who haven't heard of a seal row, this is essentially the setup for a seal row. Uh, some people have, some gyms have specialist seal row machines, which are just basically a flat bench, just like this one right here, but just raised slightly higher so you can get the full movement in. Um, this is just the makeshift one that we've done here in the mill. Grab yourself some dumbbells. You want to lie yourself flat on the bench. It's going to take out your legs, so you're not going to have a good plant, a good, uh, a good foot base. You can't, so you can't drive with your legs or anything like that. It's going to be all core to keep yourself balanced, and it's going to be all lats, all arms, all shoulders. Not shoulders, don't want to say shoulders. So, weight, straps. I always use straps just to feel my back more. So I'm going to put these on. And remember, guys, like I say with every back movement, you want to arch. Your back, keep your lower back in, keep your chest up and high, pull with the elbow. It's nothing to do with the biceps, nothing to do with your forearms, just pull with the elbows and into your waist as high as you can. Uh, another thing with this is you're going to find that you kind of move your arm and arc. So you're not only just going to come straight down like you would do a normal row, you're also going to come forward. As all you do is, as the lat connects right up into the tricep up here, you're going to extend that really pull on the top part of the of the lat as well. So uh, you know what, I'll take these off so for a uh, video sake. So we'll just grab these, step over. Remember your legs are gonna be up in the air. So all I do is I just put my legs up and I cross them over. So arms forward, so get really get the stretch up towards that tricep area. Come up, chest up, shoulder blades back, pull into the waist, elbows only. You really want to pull through the whole movement, so from the front, you're pulling all the upper part of your lat. As it comes down, you're transferring all of the power from the upper lat the lower part of the lat where it really connects down to the bottom of your waist and where we pull the Christmas tree back here so it's almost upper lat pull in middle lat lower lat as we get really get the contraction in there it's going to build the full length of the lat from the top all the way down to where it connects down to the bottom that's number one over and out yeah right on to my second alternative exercise for back it's going to be the one arm cable pull down this is amazing for isolation so if you've already done your big compounds like your rows um, like your deadlifts things like that it's a great thing to work into so all we're going to do is get a weight that we're comfortable with by weight you're comfortable with i mean 10 reps and 10 is failure so simple as a pull down like you normally would you're onto your knees like i always say shoulders back chest up lower back tight and the same with everything pull it with your elbow so Elbow down and in. Maybe a slight twist out, just to get the full stretch from the top of your lat all the way down to the bottom. So slight twist, come in, elbow in, and really squeeze from the top of the lat all the way down to where it connects down there. That way you're gonna get the most out of the exercise rather than just coming here and just popping a load of reps out. Full stretch. I wouldn't say Bring your shoulder out of the socket as you can kind of, if you've got weak shoulders, it can kind of really affect you. So I tend to kind of stay quite tight because I've got quite bad rotator cuffs. So I'll come up, fully extend, 
and come back in, shoulders back, chest up, lower back in, pull the elbows. Always use my straps as I don't like to use my biceps and my forearms. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.